Hey Alma's Recipe here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have another recipe for you guys how to make uh, chicken tacos Alma's way. As you know tacos, you can make pretty much tacos about anything, pork, beef, shrimp, frijoles, or potatoes. You name it. But anyway, today I bring you Alma's way how to make chicken tacos. Very simple but very delicious. So vamos a empezar. You only need tortillas. This recipe made like 12 tacos. Three pounds of chicken breast. One third a cup of oil. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, two lemons, a quarter of onions, one jalapeno, five garlics, one quarter of a bunch of cilantro. For the salsa, you need one pound of tomatillo, three chiles de árbol, one chile habanero, and one teaspoon of salt. Optional for topping, pico de gallo, salsa, guacamole, onions, cilantro, and radish. I'm gonna add four cups of water, but it all depends how big you pot it is. Put plenty so we can cover the tomatillos. We are going to cook our ingredients to make our salsa. Okay, so we're gonna let the water boil to for heat to start boiling. It probably take maybe like seven to ten minutes, and then we'll be ready to add our stuff in there. Okay, so this ingredients is for uh, my salsa. I peel some of these ones just to the kind of head. So, but this one, when you buy it, has the, the skin. Just peel it and make sure you rinse it up. One chile habanero. These ones are really, really spicy. I'm only using three chiles de árbol. If you want to use more, you can. I want my salsa to be spicy with a little bit of kick, but not too much. If you want to add a little bit more, but start with three. Also, this one is super spicy. It's gonna take a little bit. The seeds a little bit, just a little bit, because this is super, super spicy. So we're just gonna put it in there, and we are going to cook it now. My water is almost boiled to this point, and the reason that I tell it to make it to heater because we only gonna put it over here for five minutes. We don't wanna leave it longer because we don't want our tomatillos to pop in the water because they'll make it better. So what I said again, if you want it more spicy, add in more chilies. I'm just only adding three. Five minutes, we'll come back. I'm gonna start by preparing my marinade. The first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, by doing my lime. I'm gonna put that one so the seeds doesn't go inside. And it seeds. So after I have my lime, I'm gonna start putting my salt. Two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and I'm gonna just stir a little bit. Five garlics, quarter an onion, small onions, my jalapeno, my cilantro, and this is gonna be my dressing. One third uh, cup of oil, any oil you have or you prefer. It's already five minutes and my tomatillos are ready, so I'm gonna just gonna turn it up and move out of the heat. This is how I look, it's okay. Just gonna let it cool in down and I'm gonna keep moving with my chicken. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the chicken breast, we wanna to kinda cut it in half because it's too thick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put my hand there and then cut it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a single, it's three breasts. I guess one is one is one pound because we're using three pounds. I'm gonna use this plastic bag. If you have a zip bag or whatever you wanna put it, so I'm gonna heat my chicken a little bit. Just do like that. If you don't have one of those, you can use one can. Just do like that. So after my chicken is done like that, I'm just gonna put it in there and marinate. I'm gonna do the same thing with each chicken. Now that I have all my chicken cut it in half, you see it's already start kinda changing a little bit of white, which is good. We wanted to make sure all the chicken get covered with all the ingredients so they can get the flavors. Okay guys, um, it's just another thing you guys can add it in the chicken. Like you can add like one cup of beer, any beer you have, and it give you a little bit of more flavor. I didn't add the beer. Um, my family really like it, but I didn't add the beer just because 
Some people might don't have the beer, but I just wanted to show you guys even without the beer, it still has really good flavor. But if you want to be a little bit adventure, put the beer and you will not regret it. It's really, really, really good. So after we have our chicken just like that, we're going to let it marinate for one hour and it should be ready to cook. You see, it's all covered and it's going to make the chicken really tender and very flavor. We don't need a lot of other stuff. That's plenty to have really good flavor. So this is another topping. This is our salsa. We're just going to grab our tomatillos and our chiles. We're just gonna put it in there. Um, I usually do like my tacos with salsa. So this is gonna be one. We're not gonna add any water because the tomatillo has plenty of water. So we're just gonna add three chiles. What I said again, if you want it to be more spicy, you can add a little bit more. To this point, the only thing we need is one teaspoon of salt. So this is how my chicken look now. It's been one hour, so now I'm gonna start to prepare it to go cook. Now let's turn on the stove. I'm gonna use one of these. You can use one pan if you don't have one, but I'm gonna use this thing so we can let it heat. And then we'll be back, probably take like two or three minutes. We're gonna put in medium heat. We don't wanna put in really hot, but not very little. Medium heat, let it warm it up. My comal is already warm, so I'm gonna just put like that. So I'm, I'm gonna also cook it. I'm just gonna put it in here. So I cook my marinade for my chicken, and it's done. As you can see, this is the chiles has no longer green. They changed the color. So I cook it for between like six, seven minutes. So now I'm just gonna turn it up. So my chicken is done. Just gonna remove it. And to this point, I'm just gonna turn up my pan. Can add just a little bit of oil and then just heat it up so you'll know when the tortilla is done as soon as you can fold it and it doesn't break that's ready when you can do the tortillas like that that means that's ready i'm gonna just turn it up for now if you need to heat it more just go ahead and do it so now that I have my chicken, so I'm gonna cut, uh, you see how the lines, I'm gonna go against the grain, so it all depends how thick or how thin you want it. So I'm gonna, and just use your jasmine how thick and how, uh, you see, and it's well done, you see, and it's really juicy, very moist, very moist. I only did three pounds, you can cook more if you want. I think this one definitely will feed um, four people. Because when you put the, the pico de gallo and the guacamole and the onions, it's add up. So I'm going to return this one back to the juice. So I have to think that I marinate the chicken. This is optional if you want to use it. This is the time to add it. Just put it in the chicken. Just like that, it tastes pretty good. Like if you wouldn't want to make any uh, no tacos or something with rice, it would be really good. But we are going to make some tacos. That's what I said we were going to make. We're gonna make our tacos and you can put as much or so as little as you want. I'm gonna put four little pieces and I'm just gonna add. Uh, usually my family eat like between three and four. You have two options to make the tacos. So you can add a little bit of onions. You can add a little bit of cilantro and you can add a little bit of uh, radish. That's one. This is the other topping. I have my pico de gallo and the way I make the pico de gallo is uh, two, two tomatoes, half an onion, half a sponge of cilantro, one tablespoon of salt and one lime. That's what you need. I also have my recipe in the YouTube channels. Uh, I have my recipe in already if you want to look at it. But this is basically what it has. What I'm going to add, I just my, my pico de gallo as much as, as little as you want. I uh, have my guacamole in, in my channel too but this one, the way I make this one, so to preserve, like when you make your guacamole and you want it to stay a little longer, more, this one will last me for two or three days and will not change color. The way that I made my guacamole is first I chop one tablespoon of onion, one tablespoon of cilantro, then I cut my avocado, put it in the blender, I add one tomatillo, uh, half a lime juice, and one teaspoon of salt. That's how I make mine, and the only reason I add the tomatillo is so they can stay a little longer, maybe three, I, this one I can stay in the refrigerator for three days. It will not change color. So now that I have this one, this is the topping that I'm gonna put. A, you can put a little bit more, a little bit less. How many you want? And this is pretty much. I also like my tacos with salsa. 
and that is my salsa. You don't want to use salsa, you don't have to, but definitely the salsa is making like really good. This is a little bit of spicy, you can just put as many as little as you want. It is definitely is spicy, not super spicy, but it is. Okay guys, so there you have it, my chicken tacos. Everybody will love the chicken tacos. Every time that I make it, people love it. Like say, oh my God, you spoiled with me so much. But uh, anyway, it's not very complicated. As you can see, it's simple, but it's easy. Most of the ingredients that I use is prepared at home, nice and fresh, and I know I don't have any doubts, guys, that you guys can give it a try, and hopefully you guys let me know what you guys think, and be happy, and thank you for watching. So hasta la vista.